This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Echo Feather Flower. This design is a part of the free motion quilting project. Find over 300 video tutorials on free motion quilting designs at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to Echo Feather Flower. To quilt this design you're going to start in the center with a circle and then branch off from that circle with a small stem. You're then going to stitch off with a small set of feathers. These need to be small because the point of the design is to have space to go around and echo them, expand them and fill the rest of your quilting space with the echoes, not necessarily the feathers. So you can see I'm keeping these kind of tight and tiny. Now if you were wanting this design to go in the middle of a quilt and be really, really big and stand out uh, beautifully on the surface of your quilt, of course you could make the feathers much bigger um, because you would have a lot more space. In this situation I'm making them very tiny because I have a tiny space. But all of these designs can be uh, upscaled, basically, made bigger. Just the exact same way you make your name bigger whenever you write it. You can write your name very small or you can write your name very big. So it's kind of the same idea. So you can see that I've just kind of filled feathers on both sides of this little vine. And that's exactly how I fill my feathers all the time. As I start from the bottom, I work my way up to the top, and then I do I go all the way back to the bottom and start the next side. And I do that because it helps me get that nice beautiful arching shape. Now the only thing that I'm doing is just simply bouncing around each feather, working my way around it in order to create those echoes. Now let's try to travel stitch around and do some echoes on this side. Now notice that these echoes are what I call connecting echoes or bouncy echoes. They're actually connecting with the design in between each feather. So I'm actually bringing my stitch down and connecting with that space between the feathers. That's a little different from non-connecting echoes uh, or shadowing. That's another good name for it. And that is whenever you don't touch. You keep a consistent distance away from those lines of quilting. And they have two very different effects on the surface of your quilt, so kind of play with both of them and see which one you like the best. So here you can see I'm starting another vine and another set of feathers. And this is kind of my petals of this flower. So I'm branching out, and I like to do my travel stitching for the feathers along the edge of the feather before. So I'm going to kind of talk you through this one as we go. So first I start out with kind of a baseline feather and then I just simply stitch across the top of it and swirl around for the next feather. Feathers are something that everyone has to stitch differently. It's just kind of got to work for you the way that it's going to work for you. And really you might want to try this, but don't uh, don't get mad at yourself if it doesn't work exactly for you the same way it's working for me. Everybody's different when it comes to feathers, so just play and practice at just simply making these shapes and find the way that works best for you. Okay, and then we're going to go into another string of echoing. We're just going to echo around each of these feathers connecting with that space between them. You can see it gets kind of tight right there when the feathers start connecting. That's okay. Just try and keep it consistent and don't let it get too messy. And now this entire space here, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, work my way down and then back up, filling this whole corner up with connecting echoes. And I'll be honest with you, it would look a lot better if this was bigger. <laughs> so this side was actually a lot bigger so I kind of fast forwarded onto this side and you can see it looks a lot better when you have a nice big arch shape because it's a lot more pronounced. So bearing all of that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Echo Feather Flower. Find over 300 free motion quilting videos, plus many tools and supplies to make this job much easier on your home sewing machine at freemotionproject.com.